All right, guys, like I said in the other video, it's a super simple rig here. Got 50 pound braid, a big egg sinker, a split shot, snap swivel, and then mono leader, the six size hook. We go with these because they're affordable and we go through them a lot. Sheep's head will eat these things up. This is usually the weak link in the overall picture. That and sometimes the split shot will move. It's overall a really, really simple rig. The key is you want a heavy enough weight that the bait is in the bottom which sometimes is tricky to figure out the river is not very high current's pretty low right now so this is probably i think this is an ounce and a quarter and uh that's that's plenty the idea is that this is sitting on the bottom like this this is just waving near the bottom the sturgeon come in and grab it and they can pull on it and the egg sinker stays in one spot and they're able to pull and it you feel that tug you'll see that the line of your rod or the tip of your rod move and there isn't this big weight holding it back that these fish can feel and maybe drop they just basically feel nothing it's tried and true we've been using it for a long 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 time i don't know how you're in so much clothes how are you not hot the sun is melting me up here like seriously i'm on fire did you catch another sheep's head or did you just catch one i think one so you've only got two fish, sturgeon and sheep then. But I got one. It's whatever I got, it's very small. I think it's gotta be a sheep's head or a tiny little catfish. It is a sheep's head. All right. Oh, that was a little bite. There he is again. Got him. What are you? Catfish. Another little channely cat gosh i feel your little spines all right before you spine me i'm just gonna let you go it's like the most catfish we've caught in a long time nothing big though we haven't caught a big catfish in a while out here you see you got something it's been very 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 slow this is christina's third fish of the day here. Twenty one. Twenty-one. We're catching up. No, I'm not. You're like more than double me. No, I'm just double. I was triple a minute ago, now I'm only double. Oh, that's a bite. Oh my god. I cannot hook anything. I think that's like four bites in a row that I have missed. Oh there we go. Are you kidding me? That was such a solid bite. That's insane. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. I think I want to get those big glasses the old people wear that have like thinging blinders on the sides. already got a fish I even got my line out yet yeah it's not fair it's a bigger one than normal this duck ain't gonna be happy for those of you who don't know at home or parked in front of like the river's most famous monuments right there Hawks Peak and the ducks like to come by and go right here so they can show all the patrons and people watching. You can go behind us, you can go in front of us too if you really want, I don't care. Are you going to listen to uh, talk about how f deep it is? Oh yeah. We haven't heard that one in a while. Mm 
not really feeling the spot. So what's with you and like catching a fish like within a minute of the new spots? Yes! Seven to seven. Well, let's give this five more minutes and then we'll go over to where the pillars were. And we'll give that some time, then do Newport. And he's savable. But he stole my worm. And with this, you take the lead today. With sheep's head. Wee. Oh, I missed it. I can't hook a fish today. Oh, another sheep's head. It's only this rod. This is the only rod that can catch fish. Christina's hooked into something good. Might not be a sturgeon. It's near the surface. It just surfaced. I couldn't see it though. I think you might be right. I think it might be a big carp or something. Oh, oh, going to the other side. Please don't do that. What is it? Big catfish. Whoa, big catfish. Oh, got him. Whew. Told you I thought it was catfish. That is a big catfish. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> we were just talking about we don't catch any big catfish. And here we go. This is maybe the biggest catfish I've ever had in the river. <laughs> Support him underneath his head and belly. He's very slimy. You're gonna need to hold hold him tight around his tail. Hold him up. I can't. He's too slippery. Okay, turn towards me now. Angle towards me. I wanna get like an action shot. That was a big catfish, man. I think that's the biggest catfish anyone in the family's caught. There we go, I got something. I don't know what this is, but it's actually somewhat decent. No, I don't think so. It's sturgeon. Hey. Well, he just broke the leader. Blood, come on. Not happy. Did you get anything else? Uh, she just caught a really big catfish. Oh, nice. And uh, some sheep said that's it. That's a good sign. It's the first sturgeon we've caught in a long time not yes. at our spot. And it's, it's 24? It's actually close to 27. It's like 26 and a half. Oh, oh. is that a bite already? It is, and it's pretty big, whatever it is. Or at least I felt big right away. <laughs> this is a walleye. Weird. I haven't caught a walleye in this river in a long time. I, I never catch walleye. <laughs> Got all these people out here trying to catch them and struggling today, and I'm catching them on worms in the bottom. Look at that. Got a little walleye. I think this is a walleye. I know they got saugers in here too, but. I guess walleye. Never catch a walleye. There he goes. That's a weird one. I right, seriously, I don't remember the last time I caught a walleye in this river. It's probably been 10 years. Got him. Small, whatever it is. Sheep's head. Christina's got one. Catfish. Oh, baby. Little, little channel. Do you want a picture with them? Maybe to compare the baby with the... I hear him. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you a very quick tips on holding this one. Very sh slippery. But you want to put your fingers right here. You will feel a sharp bone right here. Feel the, feel the bones? Yes. Feel how sharp it is? So hold it tight up against his front fins and then hold his back. I'm, I'm gonna get spiked. No, you're not. Just tilt your hand like that. 
I think you got me. All right, so you caught the grandpa and then you caught the baby. There we go. And it feels small. It's a, uh, this may be a sauger. He's a, like a different color, different pattern. You fought differently than the, uh, the sheep said. He's cool. See his dorsal fins spotted? Yeah. And you got some crazy teeth on you. I just don't catch many of those. Oh. <laughs> well, the worm just hit the back of your seat. So, that's gone. Oh, the sun is officially down beyond the trees. This feels little. Please don't be a sheep's head. Oh, it's a big sheep's head. That's a pretty big one. Yeah. It's a little better than average. I just caught up to you. That's right. We just caught up. The last five fish I've caught have been sheep's head. Oh no, wait, I missed a walleye. Shoot, I have one more than you. Oh dear, I'm sunburned. My leg. Oh, look at, look. Oh my God. I have like a cut off line. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be bad. Ooh. Christina and I are officially tied for day two. And that's probably one of, gonna be one of the last fish you could see tonight because we're gonna be fishing out here after dark and you guys just can't see it. So I don't know, I'm snagged up. That is all for the light portion. You might hear some audio later, maybe get a couple glimpses if we get a flashlight out or something. And uh, otherwise, looking forward to tomorrow, day number three. Thanks for watching. Here they come. Moving at a snail's face.